All right, RC guys, it's your boy Howard Michael, 73 on YouTube, coming back at you with my GT, my uh, 1 8 scale, what I call Super GT8. I'm going to show you what I have done to it. Now, I've, uh, you know, got the new mode in it, new gears, uh, and I'm going to go over and show you what I got in it. And then later on, I'm going to do a run video and let you check and see how it should run. All right, let's pop the hood on this thing and let me show y'all what I got under here. I'm just doing this quick little video in my den, so y'all excuse it. Uh, it's a little dust. I've been running it a little bit, but I just got a new gear set up for it today and decided to put it on there. But y'all check this out. Let me show you what I've done here. As you can see, uh, this right here is the new Hobby King. Uh, this is the new Hobby King uh, 120 amp ESC. Fellas, I'm telling you, I love this ESC. This thing is very easy to program. It works real well with this motor because I have a, what is it, 3674 size motor like I had in Blue Thunder, as you can see in the truck that I have. But y'all check this out. This ESC is set up to run on four cell, uh, up to four cell. That's all I'm really, uh, you know, gonna run into this, into this car. I do have a three cell battery, a pretty hot three cell battery. And that would be this one here, as you can see. But uh, it's a pretty big battery, so I'm gonna have to get a smaller size battery to fit down in there because that battery kind of pretty 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 big and thick and everything but check this out let me show you the motor here now as you can see this is the same motor that I have on Blue Thunder I don't know if you can see the writing on the top of it there uh, I think it's called I can't really see it from looking at the bottom size of it but as you can see it's a little dusty where well, I've been running it, but this is a this is a good hot motor this motor only cost maybe about thirty some dollars, but it's a four pole motor, and it's a thirty thirty six seventy four. I think is the size. Yeah, thirty six seventy four. It has a five millimeter shaft. I'm running all mod one gears. That's what I wanted to show y'all guys on this here on my gear setup here. I uh, got it set up so it'll run pretty fast, you know. On uh, you know, with the gear setup I got in. And let me tell you something, fellas. This thing run pretty good. It gets out there real fast just on that three cell battery that's a three cell maybe 30 c's is all it is but i'm telling you it make this car haul but it make these tires i got them taped but they still try to balloon a little bit on me but they holding on pretty good and uh they grip pretty good pretty well <clears throat> let's look at the uh, gear setup here okay if you can see it let me get a little closer here uh so you guys can see um i just got this gear here uh i had this gear here on there they are mod one gear, mod one pinion gear and spur gear. This was a 25 tooth I had on there. And it ran real fast with this pinion gear on there. But now, and it's a five millimeter uh, shaft opening. But now I just got this gear in here in today. And this gear here is a 27 tooth, 27 tooth uh, pinion gear, uh, mod one with a five millimeter for to fit a five millimeter shaft. And look at my spur gear, as you can see, it's a 37, 37 two, not 37, I'm sorry, 36 two spur gear, mod one gear. So, you know, it's pretty, some pretty big gears on it, as you can see. And I'm telling you, fellas, this thing hauls but it does not play around. I'm gonna be making a run video on it in just a little bit when I get everything set up and take it outside. I just want y'all to see this, uh, see my setup on here. And uh, I'm gonna try to, you know, fit this three cell battery in there some way or another to get it to get it to work. But I'm just, you know, just something just to mess around with for right now until I get my real battery that I want to put in there. But uh this three cell battery, it, it, it makes it make this thing get out there pretty fast. But uh I just wanted to give y'all a quick rundown on the uh the updates, give you some updates on the GT8, Super GT8, uh one eight scale car with the uh rustler uh chassis in it. Just want y'all guys to check it out and, and uh, check, give you some updates on it. But uh, I'll be going out in a little bit in a few and going out and making some run video, videos on it and letting y'all see how this thing runs. This thing handles real well and runs real well. I mean, it's easy to control. I mean, it handles real well. So I just want y'all to check it out and you know tell me what you think about it. This is an update on the uh, Super GT8, what I call Super GT8. Uh, gear setup and motor uh, motor setup and everything. New motor ESC running a uh, the motor is a 20 2150 kb and the uh, ESC is a 120 amp Hobby King ESC. 
uh, brushless, senseless ESC. So y'all check it out and tell me what you think. This your boy Howell Michael. Coming back at y'all with an update on the Super GT8 1.8 scale RC car. I'll holler.